Hey, hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to welcome you to our Compass Games Town Hall. It's uh, episode number 20, and today is April 8th, 2021. I've got uh, quite a few things to cover with you all tonight as we uh, in invite Bill and Billy in to join us here shortly. So let's get started with a quick uh, update from our website. So as you can see from our homepage, the release schedule, uh, no changes made on the left. We'll see if Bill has any type of an update for us. But next up will be Napoleon's Imperium, followed by Indian Ocean Region and Joe Bukowski's The Korean War. Those are our April releases. We then have three releases set for May and four releases set for June. So very action-packed schedule, as you can see. And again, I'm not aware of any possible changes happening. I believe Napoleon's Imperium is actually going to be shipping uh, uh, next week. We'll confirm that here shortly with Bill. Also, as just a reminder, at the very top of our uh, web page, you'll see a subscribe button. And if you do that, you can subscribe to our newsletter, which we just sent out a few days ago. So just a reminder, we closed out our Kickstarter, our second printing of Crusade and Revolution, uh, the deluxe edition. And uh, also want to quickly announce that we'll be doing a recorded session with the designer of Crusade and Revolution for our next Compass Games live session in a week from today. So we'll be having a nice conversation with the designer of Crusade and Revolution next week. Uh, and then uh, the big news is we have two uh, specials for April. So we just ran our specials for May and we're doing American Civil War for April. So right now you can get War uh, for the Union uh, by Rob Bema for uh, $60 instead of $95. 
And also we've got The Late Unpleasantness is available for $55, uh, discounted from $89. So we've got two great American Civil War games that are available at special pricing. So please check those out. You can also find it uh, on our homepage. If you go to our news uh, link, you'll see here we've got our April special offers listed right there as well. And then just to round out, uh, coming uh, this month, we have, again, Napoleon's Imperium, followed by Indian Ocean Region and the Korean War, the Joe Bukowski Designer Signature Edition release. Uh, if I refresh this screen, it will probably put me at zero time because we are now live. So there you go. So thanks for joining our town hall tonight. I want to also just mention to you real quickly, if it's your, if it's your first time joining us for a, for a town hall session, just uh, put a comment in YouTube or Facebook so I can recognize you. And we, <clears throat> we want to thank you for being here. And sorry, I have a bad head cold this week, so I'm struggling a little bit. And then uh, last week, we had our uh, nice designer interview with Andrew Rowland. And uh, that's available on our YouTube channel. <coughs> now you get to talk. You're in charge, dude. He's done. He's got where is he? He's coughing or something. He needs oh, okay. Well, it's all you, dude. Yeah. How is everybody? I guess I'm on. I don't know where John went. He's not feeling good, so um, so I don't know where he went. But I'm glad everybody's here. And I'm tick. John is getting water. Well, that's what John's doing then. Jeez, that's nice. Oh yeah, here's Bill. Do, yeah. do you see him different? He cut his um. He cut his beard off. Show him. You can see it. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, so that was good. Um, yeah. So. Oh yeah. No, I'm gonna be nice to John tonight. Now, somebody. Okay, and we'll get right into it. Okay, I got a question here. Hey, explain how you sell games costing 140 that come with unmounted maps. Well, two reasons. One is they're made in the U.S. And secondly, um, they come with like four or five maps. Okay, they come with nine, six, eight counter sheets. So there's a lot more in a um, $140 game with unmounted maps than there is with a mounted map. A mounted map is just one map. So, Frank, I appreciate your um, – oh, yeah, let me explain what, and he specifically said combat. Combat has six counter sheets. How many maps? Five maps. Four or five, yeah. four or five maps and two card decks. Yeah. Okay. So you're not comparing apples to apples. One mounted map. And one one counter sheet. Mostly, one mostly is a mounted map in combat, and combat was made in the U.S. So that's why. It costs one hundred forty dollars because you get more stuff for your money, and of course, it's made in the U.S. So that's what Frank had an issue with. So I responded to him. So um, let's get down to exciting stuff. Korean box. See, nice. Now here's a very interesting thing. Now John's gonna, Frank's gonna have an issue with this because. These are unmounted. These are unmounted maps. But there's four of them. Okay. So here's the rule book, playbook. Very nice. Korean War. So here we got nice stuff in it. Nice. And here's just one of the four maps. Map B. This is map B. Oh boy, this big. Uh oh, looks like. Can I see that? Yeah, yeah, they can see it. There you go. See that map B? Again, this is again made in the U.S. Okay, and this is ninety nine dollars. Right, I think it's ninety nine dollars retail. Seventy two still on pre order. And again, it's um a lot of stuff. One counter sheet. Oh, and we got a lot of charts and yeah. mostly we if we did exactly what was in the 
first game. More charts, more. See, these are little fold out charts. They're little booklets, I guess, a four page booklet. And um, just to go back again on the mountain map thing, okay? No company that I know of can do four mountain maps. I, I don't think, I don't think um, like combat had six maps in it or five. No company does five mountain maps. Okay. Well, the, the weight, the, the weight for shipping would be pretty substantial oh, if you had four full size maps. Oh, the mounted. Box that would be huge. I mean, that would be very heavy, for sure. And the funny thing is, combat is turning out to be one of our best all time sellers. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good game. See. It's another car sheet. That's another counter sheet. Oh, I'll zoom in so we can uh, show it there. Is that for Korean War still? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. It looks like, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, John's back with us. Yeah. Yeah, sort of. My throat isn't quite back, obviously. Uh, it's been a rough, was, long week. That was nothing for talking about. <laughs> more charts, more charts. Oh, my God. More, more. More, more. I should probably explain about all the charts and tables. So if you're familiar with the Korean War from Victory Games, um, yeah, there I were chart don't. booklets. And uh, there's a lot of charts on the map and charts and tables on the map. So um, if I can get it out of my throat. We yeah, basically no, I already told him, John. Oh, you already told him? Okay. Yeah, in my don't. throat, in my voice. Yeah. Can you say that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's yep. <laughs> it's big. One of four. Yeah, there you go. There's considerable so overlap. Like, oh, oh, the bottom Jesus. Section. I fell it over. Oh, no, it's upside down. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, well, you've been sideways, guys. Okay. But, yeah, all those charts and tables you're seeing on the map, you have the option to get them through player aid cards or the... Uh, charts and tables booklet. So if your eyes are strained, you can just go to the player aid cards or the charts and tables booklet. There's uh, two copies of those in the game. So lots of choices when it comes to looking up stuff. Yep, maps look good. I like the colors of the train. It came out good. How's this one? Uh, it's pretty white. Snow, ice, it's the snow season. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, again. that's northern North Korea. That's the northern tip okay. area, it looks like. Yep, exactly. Okay. I think it's... So that is that. So that's Korea. What? Yeah, the rule book. No, no, that's right. Yeah. yeah, the rule book I've got um, somewhere upstairs. But... What book do you have right there? Now, this is the playbook. Oh. Yeah, there is a rule book. That's the playbook. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's Korea. So that's finally done after a long. That's been a long, long time. Yep. Paul likes the map colors, and uh, E4 Airman says he likes the map as well. So we're getting some good thumbs up on the maps, like counters as well. So oh, yeah, like, I like got some good positive feedback on that. Excellent. Excellent. Fun okay. So. Um, what else do I want to show? Um, hmm. Show us all the counters. Okay. I thought I did. But I'll show you all the counters. Fun. I don't know if I can show them all to you at the same, shit, same time, but we'll try. See, here's counters. Oops. Oh, no, I can't fit them all. Wait, no, I'm just... No, he wants to show no, you have to do it all at the same time. Oh, but I can. Oui. How's that? Is that sideways, but yeah. That sort of it's works. Sideways. Yeah, got, you yeah, could yeah. fit two of them. Well, put that down below. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jeez. Put that down oh, below. Gosh. Put it down here. There's nothing showing oh. down there, dude. You got to keep going. Same on. reason the camera resolution. I don't know if you guys are on high def resol resolution, but. Oh, you don't uh, like it? Your camera you resolution's off tonight. I don't know why. It's a little fuzzy. I don't know if the camera it's not setting. To me. That's right. Just tell me. It's fine. It's not a high. It's a full def. Yeah. Full high definition. Well, I think it's you, John. I just checked. <laughs> it might be me. I'll blow yeah. my throat for tonight anyway. Why right, people can't see that? Well, it's just it's uh, a the little camera little. seems to be at a low res for some reason. Wait, wait, it's a little hard to make out, but they get the idea. Hard to make out. They look like see counters. <laughs> Those are but pretty thick counters. 
Those are pretty thick counters, too. He ruined everything. Yeah, you ruined everything. Why did you even <laughs> say that? <laughs> Nobody else is complaining. Uh, somebody else already did. So, <laughs> who who complained? Uh, we got a few people. One, one here. That's, drunk. that's well, my that's my favorite. Somebody else said it's time to get a camera upgrade. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, these are thick counters. Yep, they're thick. Those look great. Those look great. And we promise the counters are not fuzzy. <laughs> As somebody says, no, they're not fuzzy counters. <laughs> not clear. It's fuzzy. Oh, it's fuzzy. It's a it's the picture. It's okay. It's a joke. Inside joke. It's all right. <laughs> Let them have it. Well, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There's a question. Uh, Darren Darren's sure asking qu else. questions about scenarios. So, so Darren, there's actually five scenarios to Korean War, and. Uh, they're not single map scenarios. Remember, there's four maps, but uh, all the scenarios basically use about two maps. Um, and there's some overlap. So just to let you know, out of the four maps, you're using maybe half of the maps for basically all the scenarios. And unless you do, of course, obviously the campaign game is everything. But yes, every scenario that we have that's not the campaign, it's just going to use two of the four maps. And you don't need the maps, uh, you don't need the other maps for those charts and tables. Uh, because we created separate player aid cards for certain scenarios, so you you can throw those two maps, keep them off your table, and we give you two additional player aid cards. Yeah, now uh, you're my night. There you go. Yeah. Now my night. I had some wrong. good questions there about the game. So thanks for showing uh, Queen War, want? Bill. So we're still scheduled for end of April. For uh, is that what we're shooting for? End of April for Queen War. You think? Well, no. Now you're on my day. <laughs> His feelings are hurt. Yeah. yeah, feelings are hurt. Yeah, they like they liked what you showed. They like what they 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 like the fuzzy counters. They said they look great and they're they thick too. To yeah, we're, we're yeah, we'll do that. One. All right, we got another one to do here. That's all right. Bill, Bill is broadcasting from Mars, by the way. Just to let everybody know, we are on Mars <laughs> broadcasting tonight. Ah, there's one. Yeah, there we go. A Gregory Smith solitaire game. You can never go wrong there. Yeah, don't go wrong. Yeah, See? Yep, there we go. Yep. F8, F1, Beer Cat. Beer Cat. Yep. There you go. The nice. Yeah, yeah, there's stuff on the other side. Yep, yeah, they're double sided. Uh, it's yep. it's yeah. coming to get you. <laughs> oh, watch out. I'm getting uh, air sick here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, yeah, there's it's a lot of <laughs> there's eight of them. So there's Jim Pickle, the act like, ooh, ah. <laughs> yeah, 16. <laughs> Making me dizzy. See, and these are nice counters. Just yep. Oh, real nice counters. Yeah, those look really good. Yep. Those look good. Thanks for tearing around their faces. Rules apply. There are 16 aircraft displays uh, Greg's mentioning here. He's on live. It's yes. eight Army, eight yeah, Navy. Yeah, eight everybody know. Yep. There you go. <clears throat> And we have an example of play, which I was, yep, see, no well, extended example of play. Extended example of play, yep, I was going to have those. See, a little log book. That's fantastic. You showed uh, it. Jim Pickled wants to know, do the counters come back like that in little Ziploc, uh, the counter yeah. sheets? Are they wrapped? Yeah. yeah. Yes, they're wrapped. Yes, they are. One of yeah, my these, new these are really, are, these are the thicker new standard counters that we, yep. um, Everything's yeah, double shrink wrap. Double, you got the box to open, shrink, unshrink, and then you got yeah, the yeah. counters. Because these are finally, this counter company, they're finally cut counters. So yep. they, it doesn't take a lot to punch them out. So that's why we wrap them. Yeah, they fall out. No, you know, they fall out. Oh. No, that's it. That's it. Okay, more charts and tables. And look. <coughs> Yep. Mm. Looks good. There's Bobby the map. map. Looks real similar to America Bomber. Yep. Yeah, except this is mounted. Hey, Billy, can you do me a favor? Can you check the camera mic setting to see if your camera is set to high def? It is. It's it is. We it already is? did. It. Okay, Ray did it. Okay, just want to make sure. Yeah. All right, thanks. All right, thank you. Jeez. Um, John. John. Yeah. yeah. Ask us again. Is Oh, wait, no, I think it just changed. Hold on. I, cha oh. I changed it another setting lower. Yeah, we did it another setting lower. So 
It's really good now, actually. So hold on. Let me go go to you guys again. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's better. So do the, let's do everything okay. all over again. <laughs> Just Give me the Korean War. <laughs> no, it's... A, it's, it's a <laughs> I'm gonna lose my voice tonight. I already have. No, it might be a light. Someone said it might light. be a, a blessing for everybody that I can't talk tonight oh, anyway. So that's right. No, you need a better lighting, not oh, yeah. turn them off. Turn them off. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little clear. I think maybe the 720 resolution helps a little bit with bandwidth. Just full, everybody. It's all right. Uh, it's like old school QVC. That's right. So, uh, well, I love Lucy reruns. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, the band the bandwidth's not cooperating. We usually have really good bandwidth uh, on these things, so it's just yeah. I think just the network's acting up a little bit. Way go. Yeah, acting up, we wouldn't be going through. Yeah. Okay, and then yeah. I got one more. Right, What's the other? Over there. Another game to show. Yeah. Oh. Which one is it? Is it? Uh, let's see, did Korean War already? It's not going to be uh, Napoleon's Imperium. We did that last week. Hmm. Indian Ocean region? We did we did Indian Ocean region already. Yeah, oh, what about uh, Victory at Sea? Uh, Victory at Sea? No, we don't have Victory at Sea. Russian campaign? No. Got me stumped. Crusade and Revolution, maybe. Huh? Hey, Dad, I can't show this. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Ah, Victory at Sea. There we go. Look at all the bags. Hey, John dice. Edwards classic Ooh. with plenty of dice. Oh, lots of dice. Uh, and multicolor. I like that. What the hell is that? There we go. Yep. Yep. Nice Only playable. 12 game. pages. See, 12 yep. pages. 12 pages total. That's right. No Two messing charts. around. Yep. Simple charts with the die rolls and everything. Pretty straightforward game. Should be a lot of fun. One inch counters. There we go. One inch counters with the flags on them. Because I punched them out. So. I should mention to everybody now about how the flags are positioned on the counter so nobody thinks the counters are miscut. <laughs> no, let them think. Okay. There we go. That's a display. That's the setup display to set up the game. Oh, look. We can do it this way. You can do sideways, you, too. There we go. How are you going to show the next one? What? This is a World War II. So victory, victory at Sea is strategic, abstract, you know, strategic, abstract game of World oh, War II. Yeah, the baby map. Oh, in Europe. Atlantic. Ooh. That's so and here's the mounted good. map. It's area. It's going to be an area map. Think of it as War and Sea or Victory at Sea, basically. No, no. So here we go. No, they can only see the very top. You got to lift it up. You got to back it up. Back it up. So there you go. If you look up Victory at Sea on our board game, you can see the original uh, edition. That's yep. a mounted map. Okay. Geez, why it? Hello. There you go. Yep. Perfect fit. There's the mounted map. There you go. Yep. Looks good. That is definitely Victory at Sea. There you go. Nice playable game. Really good for little get-together games when we can do in-face gaming again. Good for tournaments. Uh-oh, John Longshore is uh, in trouble. He's hitting the red alert. He's got eight insta-buys now or something. He yeah. likes what you're showing tonight. And, you know, kudos on the one-inch. One-inch counters are really nice on the yeah, they map. So they definitely <laughs> came out really good with the silhouettes. So the good thing the is the dice certified balance bill. Do we deal with certified balance dice in our games? That's a good uh, of question. Of course we do. Of course, uh, they're always certified, right? Yeah, by the yes, government. Yes, I, I come on and say they're certified. And uh, yes, uh, Victory at Sea. Do you have the box handy still so we can show them it's a bookcase box? It's the normal. A silly flat box. That's the one. No, well, that's, that's the original. Small. Yeah, this is a normal. Go the side, side, side. No, this is all you get. In the front of the box, so nothing else. Just the front. It's like a flat tray from SPI. Ah, there we yeah. go. Yep. That's yeah, bookcase on. edition. There you go. It is a bookcase box. Right. Turn Paul. it around like a professional. Yeah. I hope that's a thumbs did. up from Paul that he sees it's a uh, bookcase style box there. Okay. And big, big counters for us. Uh, aging eyes is always fun. There you go. Now, it's a really great John Edwards game. Came out in, I think, 1992, I want to say. Originally, 1992. It's a really good game. So we showed a bunch of uh, games. That was, that was good. Yeah, I think we already did that one. We did. Yeah. Okay. Um, Napoleon Imperium actually shipped today. Ah, shipped today. Napoleon's Imperium shipped today. That's big news. Okay. Yeah. Crusade and Revolution is going to ship next week. Next week for Crusade and Revolution. I mean, you have to add it to the yep. schedule then. So that's the second printing. Perfect. Just just finish the, uh, the Kickstarter for that. <coughs> so that's good. So that's good. So we'll have Napoleon's Imperiums out now. 
next week, Crusade and Revolution. So I assume, do you think Indian Ocean region would still be uh, following up after that? Per the schedule, we've got uh, any notion region in the Korean War or the next two. Excuse me, John. I know what he was looking at. <laughs> what? He was distracted. Yeah, I was distracted. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. No, so after any uh, notion, will any notion region make it in April still? Uh, it's up for debate. I'm flipping the coin between Korean War and Indian Ocean. Well, I don't know what people think between Indian Ocean and Korean well, War. Well, because here's my problem. I still have that. You don't have uh, South China Sea? Yeah, so I'll have. And that really is my problem, is I want to release them both at the same time. Okay, so maybe we can do Korean War a little earlier then? Uh, no. No, okay. But this month, we could do Korean War by the end of the month, yeah, maybe. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Okay. So people so say, yes, uh, Shin Godzilla <laughs> says, let's do Korean War. Uh, John says Crane Paul War. Paul doesn't want to wait. Uh, where's the one that? Uh... Oh yeah, and the good news is, I really think we're going to have Compass Convention. Yeah, uh, Compass. Uh... I think. Yeah, I think the coronavirus is going to be where people are going to be vaccinated. So I think by November, I th and I think it's going to be a good one because I think I'm going to be in a very um. What would you say? Jolly Festive. Food. Yeah. Festive. Gener Holly. and generous mood. It's the holidays for that generous mood. Oh boy, that, yeah, that, that because, means a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, yes, Korean War is the 1960s, as I announced uh, last time, and that's I was not on cold meds, uh, cold meds at the time. So yeah, yeah, maybe the 50s. We'll try the 50s this time. 50s, I think. Yeah, we still want uh, John Boone. He's uh, played a lot of a. Uh, South China Sea here. He's a neighbor here in Dallas, and he uh, he loves South China Sea. He did a lot of good uh, game coverage on South China Sea, so I know he's chomping at the bit for Indian Ocean region for sure. So ho hopefully soon, but he, yeah, he's a big fan of that uh, game for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, no, the convention's in uh, Meriden, Connecticut. Like Meriden, Connecticut, right. We're going to have the uh, – I should be able to get the convention page up uh, in the next two weeks so we can start taking registrations for it. Yeah, so that'll be good. One hundred and ten percent off. I hear that's uh, that's going to be the special <laughs> offer. And then, and somebody's right. Bring empty suitcases for the conference. Highly recommended, especially those traveling overseas to avoid VAT. Highly recommended to do that for sure. So, well, what else okay. is going on? Yeah, I can't say too much tonight because you know my throat's not going to be there anyway. So, I'll. This one's on you guys tonight, hundred percent. So, yeah, no, I don't think. Um, Somebody asked about Roman Vix or Victrix. Or Roma Victrix status. Yeah, yeah. and also so, the the release date for Victory at Sea. They're asking about the uh, since you showed Victory right. at Sea. Do you have a release date in mind for that one? No. No. Nice. Okay. No, because remember these are samples. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. So these these ain't. I don't have victory at seeing the warehouse. These are samples I have to go through and approve. Yeah. For final uh, somebody print. was asking earlier, do you have anything yes. set up in the basement? Anything set up in the basement? Oh yeah, I got. Um, I think that's the same, isn't it? No, I changed it up. Tell us what changed you did. it up. Yeah, I got lamps. I got combat. Yep. I got Russian campaign. I still have death in the trenches. He's had that blank for a long. But time. upstairs, upstairs. Yep. Yeah, in my new room because we kicked Bill out, so yeah. I have another room. So I have yeah. three oh rooms. Oh my gosh! Now. Not as big as the basement, but it's got you know. No, it's a. I, I got up there NATO. Yep, that's fully like. Lovely. Oh, NATO from Bruce Maxwell, awesome. Yep. So I set up all the counters on the map and yep. nice. made sure that made sure that there weren't Russians starting in France and all that good <laughs> oh, stuff. Oh yeah, that, that's possible. Yeah. You never know. So what else? Well, or um or Americans sending up in um. East Germany, other than Berlin, oh, but um, yeah, I got France 1944 and World War II commander like, up there. Like left. Do you really? I didn't see those. Yeah, no, I put them up last night. Huh. So I asked that you need a webcam 24 seven throughout all your rooms. Today. Now the That's good right. news That's is a good idea. I like that idea. So we can see all webcam. the testing, all the so outside, all the work going into it. Not a bad idea. And the you'll be up at 2 a.m. You'll you'll probably be working 2 a.m., 4 a.m. We'll probably yeah. have some movement, right? 
The good news is I'm packing Korean War and um, War in, War for America and oh, War for America. Good. And nice. two others to set up down in South Carolina when I'm there. Oh, yeah. That's right. So how long and are you going to be gone? How long are you going to be gone for? Seven months. Seven months. Okay. So we're we don't have to release any games for the next seven months. We could just no, wait till Compass, Compass, wait till Compass Expo. Yeah. Sabbatical. We're on a sabbatical now. Okay, there you go. I'll be back for um, Veterans Day convention. Yeah, that's what I'll be back. There you go. That makes sense. Any news on the carrier battle game from John Southard? Yeah. Um, last I knew was he's wrapping up last minute testing and last minute changes and should be going to print within the next 30, 45 <laughs> days. Okay. Western Front Ace, I have some game cards. We always try to do the game card printing first because that usually takes longer. So. Hopefully we can get that to the printers in the next week or two, and then the other components are also wrapping up. So that one's making wow. some good headway. Roma Vitrix, you may have talked about that already. I don't know if I want to bring it up again. No, it's or... been worked on. The scenario still being worked on. The scenario book. scenarios are being worked on. Yeah, yeah. the scenario book still being. Third yeah, World War common. series. Yep, we've got proofers uh, going through. Uh, we had a great response, over 45 proofer volunteers. So we've got a bunch of proofers that we could fit in, have been working on it over the past week and a half, two weeks. And uh, going. we've already gone through the basic uh, rules booklet. Now we're going through, getting ready to go through the uh, the player's book now. So things are progressing to wrap up Third World War series. And then when will South China Sea be available? I think that's what Bill's trying to figure out still right you're still no i no the stuff is um i should have everything knock on wood by the only thing i went for was the counters because it would have been out six months ago but um the counters were printed oh. all wrong oh, that's okay right. so i had to redo them okay mm -hmm. and that is so i'm waiting for that and okay. i hopefully i that's why i'm waiting for indian ocean because i hopefully both of them will be out in mid-may to late may all right, and then the uh, question about the, uh, I guess we call that the deluxe edition. It's going to have a mounted uh, Oh, yeah, that, that's map. actually in the printing process now. So I haven't even gotten my sample yet. So that that's pretty, that's down the road a little bit, four or five months. Um, I haven't heard if Bill's going to be purchasing the Amarillo Design Bureau or Starfleet Battles game system. So I don't know. I haven't heard that. But, um, yeah, I know there's a big following of the Starfleet battle system. I, I haven't played Starfleet battles myself. I don't know, Bill, if you if you came across Starfleet battles when you were younger or not, but it was a pretty yeah, I don't popular, know what it is. It was a pretty popular uh, system. Uh, yeah, this was asked before, so um, this is something I still need to talk to Bill about. Uh, doing uh, a science fiction classic game, Belter. So that was brought up, yeah, two town halls ago. Just haven't had a chance to. Uh, our pipeline's pretty full already as it is, so we're trying to get stuff through. But yeah, this this is coming through as a as a pretty pretty high popular request for, uh, to go to sign. And you know, we're looking for more science fiction too, so we'll definitely follow up on that. But that was that was a good uh, suggestion we got, so we're looking at that. Uh, let's see, Greg's got the playbook from Ken for the yeah. We're doing the first review. This is back to the Third World War series, so we've been going through. Doing a few proofing rounds for the rule booklets, looking solid, ready to go. Uh, still, still just wrapping that one up, though. We don't rush through proofing, obviously. We want to catch things, but uh, that one is wrapping up in the play booklet, as mentioned here. We're just starting to go through uh, the playbook uh, internally, and then it's going to go out to the proofers uh, following following their first uh, run through. Uh, okay, a lot of people are talking about Starfleet battles. It's like ASL meets Star Trek. That's very true. Shin Godzilla is correct and then my manatee would buy it yeah it's a very popular system i know that that's for sure uh let's see yeah a lot of games in the pipeline so really i mean i think my focus other than feeling better this week is just trying to get some stu stuff wrapped up that's uh, been lingering well for what, a are while. Hmm? what are they selling what are they selling oh so this one said it's sold someone bought it oh somebody bought it who bought it oh so it's dead Someone on where the shoe is that bro and them it's just being sold. sold. Oh, being sold. Oh, it's being sold. Yeah, or is it, it's out. It's up. Yeah, well, Compass Redo Scrimmage. Well, that's SPI. So that 
That would go. We wouldn't do it anyway, probably, but that would be Decision Games would be doing that. Decision Games has all the SPI titles. Pretty much. So. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. This was asked earlier, Bill. Uh, uh, update, yes, uh, update on Combat Volume 2, please. Yeah, things are being printed. So we're just waiting for that whole process to complete. Okay. So I'm you. still hoping for end of summer for that one. Because we okay. wanted to get that out. Sounds good. Uh, I'll have an update next time for American Tank Ace. Um, the, the key artwork of all the AFEs is done by Matt White, but uh, we're going to get somebody appointed to do the displays using Matt's artwork. That hasn't started yet. I've had a, a slow week uh, just with my uh, head colds here, so I haven't been able to work on that this week. But, yeah, that's the next step for American Tank Ace. Armadillo. No, that's the company. Uh, well, that's the company that's been sold. Oh, no, I thought you wanted to look up the game. No, go to the company. Oh, yes, sir. Let's see if anybody else has any. I know we're going to do a free drawing here pretty soon. Maybe we'll do a uh, abbreviated session tonight. We've shown a bunch of stuff, but this is a last call. If you want to get your comments and questions in, uh, we'll give uh, Bill and Billy maybe an earlier release tonight, and uh, my throat will recover. Yeah, John's not feeling good, so. That's all right. We can make it he's shorter a, and sweeter. So that's downer. That's fine. I'm a downer tonight. Uh, yeah, oh, Armorillo Armor, Design Group is the name, is the company name. I haven't heard about that. This is the first. This is the first I've heard about. They're looking to sell. So, I it doesn't say anything. But oh, another question. Good question about Europe and Turmoil. How's the Europe and Turmoil two coming along? Any estimate on delivery? Um, um, they're wrapping it up, and it should go to the printer probably. And um, well, we don't even have it up on pre-order. So that's um, it should go to printing in probably two months, but but that's down the road. I don't okay. see that till sometime next year. Uh, next paper wars. Oh yeah, paper wars ninety seven. That is going to well, be out, I believe, uh, in May. That's out in May, according yes, to our schedule. Yep. 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 Imper Imperial Tide. I think we were just holding off because we just. Uh, have the had the World War One game come out that we just yeah, did. Yeah, so I got to wait a couple months. So we're gonna wait a few months, Tim, on Imperial Tide, just because we just released. Uh, lamps are going out, so we're trying to space out a little bit the World War One games. Uh, yeah, this question was asked to me. I w I didn't get to do the uh, intro section tonight because uh, my throat got me. But yeah, uh, Ipris that was uh, asked about doing a reprint for Volume One and. Uh, yeah, no, that's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, not sure. And one thing I want to show really quickly, just uh, sneaking in here real quick, is just wanted What's to this? thank everybody. Oh, just, well, thank you. Just, just wanted to thank everybody here who reached out to us the past two weeks with questions. Uh, and again, yeah, some of your questions we try to bring up uh, on the show, like I did tonight about, yes, maybe we'll show Korean War, which we, Bill was able to do, yeah. which worked out great. So you thank you all for reaching out to us with your questions. We really appreciate that very much. Let's see what other comments we have. Uh, upgrade on Battle Hymn 2. That would, yes, that's another one uh, I think, Bill, you've been working on a little bit there. Yeah, so it's the designer's working on playtesting, and that's all I... Um, yep, yep, okay. Yep. <laughs> no, Let's that's see. all I got. <laughs> oh, not anymore. I don't know how you get I'm this. trying to hang in there. If that's a reference to me, yeah. Sorry, I got a ticklish throat tonight. It's 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 driving me nuts. Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, thanks uh, very much. There's a new uh, camp. There's a new uh, Compass Games uh, fan page up on Facebook. So thanks, uh, yeah, Compass Games enthusiasts. So if you do a search for Compass Games, and if you could add that word enthusiast, that will even make it easier to find. There's we a brand new those? group. There's a new group. Yes, you have fans, Bill. Two people, and they all did. I, I and it's it's interesting on Facebook. You have to ask a question so they know you're a real person that wants to uh, to get in. Yeah. That you're seriously oh, wanting yeah. to get so into the not. group. So they always ask. You know, they ask the question, "What's your favorite shirt that Bill wears?" That's that's the official question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just I slipped that <laughs> in. You like that one? Yeah, I like that. One. Uh, any more Simcan games? I know there were some suggestions, uh, like yeah, Sea Power. C, uh, there were Sea Power and a few others. So um, also, an ancient well, there's game. two in coming up, and there's two coming up in Paper Wars. Okay, one is coming up Assault of Trebrook, and the other one is the yep. English Civil War. 
Yep. And then October we're still minute. working on um, C power, the one C power of the C or whatever. I don't know. Yep. And then I probably could mention uh, I updated yeah, the. I just, uh, <laughs> I updated the subscri uh, subscription page for uh, our subscription is going to flip over at some point to 98 to 100 because 97 is going to be out. Yeah. So uh, here we can see the next. Oh, three look at issues. that. Wow. Wow. So here's the, next, here's the next three issues. So yeah, Assault of Tobruk is that, uh, was that yeah, Sim can cool. in that red box? Really nice yeah, looking slim good, red yeah. box. And then the other two titles are from Tai Bamba using his uh, popular system. So. If you go to our website for the, uh, we're going to be, do you know when we're going to be flipping bill officially to 98 through 100 when, uh, when people yeah, should start? a couple days. In a couple days. I think it's available now. You can actually get to it now, but you can still subscribe to 97 through 100. If you want 97, please look for issue 97 through 100, not 98. So you can get 97 as well, but just want to share. Uh, again, we have, uh, give you a nice little overview of what's coming up. For Paper Wars and Paper Wars is doing really well. We we're Ty's been doing a great job getting all the content put together. Uh, it, issues look real good. Uh, contact now that's something being worked on. I know Ken Dingley's um, getting involved now with uh, that project directly, so that's one of his projects. Is Contact Now from Steve Overton? Uh, Dieppe was a really cool game. I don't think, uh, have we done? Has uh, has Depp been done? No, I don't think so, right? Not by us. No, not no, no. That was an interesting game for sure. Canadians would love it. Well, maybe not, but yeah, for what it does. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how was the World War II quad game coming along? The maps are pretty much done, and the counters are pretty much done. John Thiessen, uh thankfully, oh, is feeling much is feeling better now. Uh, thankfully, and uh, he's been proofing the the maps and counters. So, no, I never showed that. That's coming along well. So Quad Game is making good progress, and uh, we should get to the rules uh, piece probably in the next month or so. So that's that's doing well. No, it's over there. Here's a big question: Designer additions for any Rob Markham titles possible in the future? Yeah, I just haven't been able. I, I've been trying to work with him on um, "Give Me Liberty and Give Me Death" for ten years, and it just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, if we did anything, we'd probably have to do it as a reprint, uh, deluxe edition of his games, where we would just do new issues, new updates, but not yeah. change the game. So <laughs> that could be a possibility. Well, if that's I what did. you mean, it is. You had to have. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. So, so Ralph I can't wants to know. Did, did I ever do this one? No. Uh, that's the number two, one. right? Yeah. yeah. Like, Bill I says I did, did, so I'm not doing it again. I think you did, but uh. Okay. So he's, not doing he's sad. It. Now. Not he's doing sad. It. He's sad. You broke his heart, John. You can do it if you want to. You have to shrink open. You know, break open the shrink, right? Yes, I don't really want to. Oh, they want to see it anyways. Okay. Uh, oh. uh, thanks, Matt, for the Imperial Tide pre-order. That's a Gregory Smith game. Uh, yeah. so two players using the Pacific Tide system. So it'll be really good. Thank you for that. Can Ty share information on Case Guild? Yes, we'll do that uh, for sure. Uh, Dan, when we get closer to the release of these games, what I'd like to do is we get, uh, for Compass Games Live, we get the designer uh, to do an interview right around the same time, if possible, when a game is shipped. So we'll have Ty on again for sure when we get closer for uh, Case Guild, which will be in a future issue of Paper Wars. Oh, it is a tough one. Oh, look. Look at all the cards. Oh, here we go, Napoleon's Eagle. Okay, hold on. I'm going to give you the stage here, Napoleon's Eagle. Okay, yep. Nice looking cards. Yep, look great. More cards. Show them the front, too. There you go. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yep. I'm professional. Skilled, yeah. Wow. Geez, I got to do that again. Yep. Watch. Well, watch this. I got to do it again. You're going to flip it? Let's see. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Las Vegas card <laughs> dealer. There you go. Nice job. Well done. You have another hand. What? No, and I, got, hand, I know. I like the nice leader. Yeah, you got the leader cards it. there. It looks very good. <laughs> no, there's got to be a way to. Oh yeah, see that's what. Why, why can't the leader oh, cards have that. like the? Uh, oh, oh yeah, it was, it was sorry you were making it. Wow, we. You're trying to throw it up and catch it yourself. And. The, yeah, look. Looks good. 
Good night, World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel. Thanks for being up at 3 a.m. with us. You're you're brave. Appreciate it. Okay. Rule book. Yep. That's great. And do the card pack. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, we could always improve. Can do the card packs come with a user friendly red pull tab to open up the uh, open up the? How do you open up the cards? No, it comes. It comes with the not. Uh, it's right here. Uh, you see it? Yeah, but this one doesn't have it. Yeah, it, does. it usually has no, a. It, does, um, it, has on the back. it has a flipper thing. Yeah, right here. So there is some type of a pull pulley. Yeah, device. it's a pull. It's, yeah, yeah it's on the only okay. the best that compass. Wait, where is it? On okay, side, AJ, like we got a pull. Yeah, AJ, so we do have a pulley it. device. It's on yeah. the. Uh, yeah, you see right here. They can see it. Well, yeah, oh, it's on the yeah. right side there. I think. Okay. You can see so that. there is a there is a pull tab. Okay, awesome. Well, it's a pull tab going across. Yeah, yeah, you just have to pull. Pull tab yeah, going across. Like we'll we'll, like we'll, a, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Yeah, we should have done a smaller box right here. Oh, there it goes. Uh, are there going to yeah. be included erratic cards? Or, uh, in, does Napoleon Eagles 2 include erratic yes. cards? For Napoleon? Yes, yes, it does. Yes. Yeah, board game bloke, it does include the yes, board game cards. Bloke. Any plans for Steel Wolves since Silent War is getting a big deluxe uh -oh. update uh -oh. with IGN? No. I saw it too. It's right here by your face. What is it? It's right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh you stink. Oh, right you stink. I got it right here. Oh, yeah, you got it. Good job. All righty. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing this. Did we do a Korean War unboxing already? It's okay, James. I missed it as well because my throat is thrashed. I was off All camera right, while uh, Bill did the Korean War unboxing. So we did that We did that early on when I was, like, uh, getting water. I was off stage left, as they yeah, say. Yeah, just the wolves to fend for ourselves. Yeah, my throat That's was right, what are you doing? gone. You right? I'm back. Uh, let's see here. Okay, no, okay. I don't know if anybody has any other questions, so maybe we can go to the game giveaway. If you'd like to do a game, well, giveaway, game giveaway, what do you want to give away? You should like fireworks go up with the game giveaway. Yeah, um, let's see. you know what game we're gonna do. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Okay, you ready? Are, are we gonna say which game it is? Maybe not. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Do the drawing the first. Yeah. We'll do. Okay, we're gonna tell do the drawing first, everybody. All right. Okay, so, you gotta uh, tell. Irwin wants to know, and he lives in the Bronx. Where a convention is. It's in Meriden, oh. Connecticut. Yeah. yeah. So, sorry Probably we don't have 40... information on the website yet. It'll be up in no, two weeks. No, but it's 40 minutes from where he lives. 40 minutes from the Bronx, Meriden, yeah. Connecticut. Meriden. There, Meriden. Go there we go. 91. You don't come all this way. No, I know, but I don't, I don't know how far. Well, of course not 40 minutes, but it sounded good. Yeah. I've and and can we hold that? Call, can we hold you to that? That you're going to be in a very charitable mood. You said, "Was that what was the word you used?" A very. Uh, I think was... He hasn't seen everybody in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody. Of he's going to be. He's All right, he says good. That's close basement. enough. He says that's close enough to the Bronx, so we're he's good. Deal. Yeah, and yeah, no. And maybe Prince. Maybe we'll look at Prince Baffin Island sometime too. We could look at that. All right, everybody. I need you to take a break with your fingers. No typing. No comments because we're going to give away a free game tonight. Thanks for your extra patience uh, as my voice is not cooperating. I appreciate that. Uh, you're going to pick a number between 1 and 100. You're going to type one number one time, one time only, and then no other comments, please, so we can uh, have all the numbers, all the guesses uh, together for the free game drawing that we're going to do right now. So I'll count down from 5, and please enter your number and do not make any other comments, please. Starting now, five, four, three, two, one. Enter a number right now between one and one hundred for the free game drawing. And the clock is ticking. And I'm really going to bring the. What's we'll call it tomorrow? Yeah, you know, you know, don't forget. All right, numbers are coming through. There's a little bit of a delay. Not too bad tonight. A lot of numbers coming through. Yeah, drop it off no, 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 in my car. John knows it's leaking on his lip. <laughs> Gee, no, you got yeah. it all over. Jesus. Leave it's on your chin. Wait, are your dog still yeah. there? <laughs> no, the dog's left. Oh, about. no, I see his ears. sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping. Are they both there or just one? Uh, just the one sleeping. Yeah, because he's got rid of the other one, huh? Look at him. He's oh, out he's got the, a little... the other one was scratching at the door. Does the other snore? one wanted out. They're spoiled. French bulldogs are they're so stubborn and spoiled. Does he snore a lot? He snores really good. He's a good snore, but he's not snoring right now. 
Oh, my, he, follow, he follows me everywhere. He's, he's a really good boy. All right, another 10 seconds for the free game drawing. We'll give another 10 seconds, and I'll so let me type the cutoff another line. Hey, get away from me. <laughs> All right, cutoff for the free drawing okay. is happening now. So anything, okay, any message after my post is not uh, going to make the cut. So there we okay, go. All right, so we need somebody to roll the dice so we can find out who the winner is. Roll the dice. Hit the axe. This one? Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Oh. That's a bunch. Oh, that's close. That's What's the number? Oh, 45. Number is 45. I've just typed it here, so let me just show it so everybody knows. 48. There's our number. So the winning number is 45. I'm now going to go through. And this might take a while, everybody. There's over 100 people again, so let's see if we get close to 45. Keep going. Yeah, we got to look. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus, he's aggravating. This looks uh, like a tie between 42 and 48. There's 44s, yeah, John. That is okay, I'm not there yet. Yeah, he goes up from down. We go down to up. Yeah, so we have, okay. we have a tie. So we have three people that got to do it. Not one. Oh, two? Yeah, two oh, 44s third. and a 46. I don't oh, see any 44s yet. We just, right now, you have Richard Cox. It's two above Richard Cox. All right, so we have two 44s, huh? Yeah, no. JJ Dogs. And we have 46. Go down. It? Go down. <laughs> Sweet, isn't he, everyone? <laughs> oh, 48. Check in. I thought you said 46. I didn't say 46. Yeah, you did. No, I, I don't. I'm still looking for them. Your numbers. Oh, they're no 44. No, there's 44. Okay, I found 44. Here's the first two. one I found. And and Jeff Cal Caldwell's the other. Yeah. One. So we got two 44s. Okay. Here we go. Jeff Caldwell oh. and JJ Dags. Okay. So you okay. guys are gonna do a roll off between one and 100. So I need uh, Jeff and JJ, please pick a number between 1 and 100, and you want to do it right now, just you two. So it's a Jeff versus JJ roll-off for tonight. So go ahead and pick your number. I'm just waiting. Well, that was be right. Yeah. All right, just waiting for the numbers still... Waiting for the number. So, okay, JJ, I see your number. All right. Oh, oh interesting. Oh, okay. it's not 48. JJ is going for the lower quadrant, and Jeff is going a sort of higher quadrant here. Okay, what's the winning number? 61. 61. Okay, so the winner is Jeff Caldwell with a 49. So, Jeff, what you want to do is you want to send an email to sales at compassgames.com. And again, just give us your mailing address. Uh, mention that you're on our town hall tonight, that you won the game. And what is the game that Jeff oh, yeah, won for you. this evening? Yeah, it's what? <laughs> What's the game? I didn't hear it. Napoleon Imperium. Napoleon's Imperium. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice win. Okay. Congratulations, Jeff. And JJ is a good guy, giving him congrats for uh, edging uh, him out for Napoleon's Imperium. So very I class act the, very from JJ. <laughs> and yeah, the winning game was Napoleon's Imperium. So that was. Uh, let me just show that here quickly. Oh, yeah, we can we do that here. Yeah. Let me see. No, it's, it's the garbage over there, right? On the floor. Yeah. What are you looking for? So the winning game is right we, here. Oh, Napoleon's Imperium. John was the winner. So congrats to Jeff for winning. All right. Uh, I didn't quite survive tonight with my throat, but uh, everybody else did, and Jeff came out all the better with the free game. So uh, sounds like you're going to be offline for a little bit as far as town halls uh, for a session or two, Bill. So I'll let you uh, – I'll give you the floor like tonight to say goodbye well, to everybody <laughs> until you come back one day, one day <laughs> in the future. Maybe. Maybe come right? back one day. Maybe I'll come back one day. But no, it's always fun. John, speak. Um, John's got to take care of himself. Uh, it's not my doing throat. It. So, well. Yeah, sorry. It wasn't a very smooth episode yeah. tonight because I couldn't get through it. So, oh, well. Well, thanks so much for doing the uh, show and all the games coming out. <laughs> Today. You're going to be gone for a while. That's all you say. Yeah, that's all I say. It's not like a well game. You're going to be gone for a while. Uh, 
Is up somewhere, going to be up in the Himalaya mountains with your legs crossed, doing, yeah. thinking about other improvements coming to Compass Games, other yes. things like tabs, like tabs on cards to rip open cards and other such things. You're going to be up in the mountains somewhere, right? Shepherding well, sheep. He'll be back in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. It could be two okay, weeks. Maybe he'll be, be back in two weeks, everybody. Maybe, yeah. No, I maybe said it could be. be. Yeah, he said it could okay. be. All right. Sounds good. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, okay. Have really, a good one. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.